The Texas church where 26 people lost their lives will be torn down. Today, the pastor announced his decision. Vice President Mike Pence visited the small town of Sutherland Springs, Texas last night. Within the past hour, Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson announced a quote, full scale review of the shooter's case. The Air Force previously acknowledged that Devin Kelly's criminal history was not submitted to the FBI as required. That would have stopped him from getting a gun. 26 people lost their lives when Kelly opened fire on the small church outside of San Antonio this past weekend. Officials say Kelly died from a self inflicted gunshot wound. Local church leaders are calling suicide an epidemic and they're ready to tackle the issue head on. Today, those leaders came together to train on how to have a conversation about mental illness. 13 News Now reporter Ali Weatherton explains. Inside Great Bridge Methodist Church. You guys have lots of thought processes. A group of people are having a conversation. It might be better if I wasn't here. You normally wouldn't hear inside a church. If you can use the word suicide in a sentence, you can probably help save a life. Church leaders are coming together as one to tackle an issue they're calling an epidemic. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, more than 44,000 people die a year from suicides, double than those who die from homicides. To try to just educate and sensitize the faith community that we have people who are struggling with suicidal desperation right in our own pews. And when many think of the term or word, they think one person, but that's not always the case. We forget that mass shootings are really almost always suicides where other people are taken with them. Just like the recent tragedy in Texas, the suspect, Devin Patrick Kelly, died from what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We've got these people who are floating around our world, super isolated and super desperate, um, who then, out of that pain, um, take their lives and, other, and the lives of others. And that's what church leaders are grasping today, how to ask people if they need help before it's too late and lead them in the right direction. It's about giving people something to hope in. It's about believing that there is hope, that there's a reason to live. Church leaders say at the event today, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask or feel like you'll be judged. According to statistics, 50% of people are impacted by suicides in some way. Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.